Hello and welcome to Factorial Raw. I'm a creator. In this episode, I want to get the long handed inserters, the factory for that going. But since we are going to reuse stuff from over here, oh, I haven't thought about the smelting. Well, we will have to solve that. But I want to see how the, uh, how the blueprints work. So, new blueprint book with spotting empty blueprint makes no sense. No, you're right. How? Oh, okay. Okay, that's uh, how it is. So blueprints, I guess they're working basic. Oh. They are working basically the same way as they did before. Mm, yep, like this. Let's uh, disable these. We don't need those. So this... No, that's not what I want. Oh. No, this is not what I want either. Uh, I actually want it from over here and I want that belt I want this part of it except these yeah that that seems to be okay and this should be this should be inserted great uh, create it and then let's see we can't move it over there, we can't move it like that. I guess let's just put it below. So, well, could we put it there? Mm, technically, we probably could. No, we wouldn't have enough, uh, enough room for the smelting, but we can put it over here. Let's do that. And yes, I know that. We will get have to get a lot of these trees removed. So let's go on and do that. And then we can go on with building. And what I'm going to build is the long-handed inserters. Oh, let's look at the time to make sure that we get the episode about the right amount of time. Okay, I messed this blueprint up, <laughs> I think. Well, never mind, we still have it. Let's just plunk it down. Actually, no, let's not do that. Uh, blueprint library, could get one of these. Let's get rid of that. We actually want that like over here, I guess. Okay, what I missed was the smelting of iron. So to have a bit of room for that, let's put the blueprint. Well, let's put it over here. Then we have room for smelting over here. And we have some room for the copper stuff over here. And yeah, we have room for getting this along as well. Goody. Um, and that's basically it. Oh, except that we need to create all of the assembly machines and all of that stuff for this. Let's get a few more inserters. And we can actually start setting those down. Yep, and there we go, there we go, yes, okay, and then we have, let's plant this down first, because that shouldn't be that inserter, that should be the long-handed inserter, 
and then oh yeah we actually need need ion to come in over here as well not a big deal but we still need it so let's get everything set up we go and we have a box we oh we need to feed things out into this and lamps oh let's create a bunch of lamps there we go there we go one over here i guess yeah something like that uh, and power poles yes power pole power pole there there there, there, and there. Good. So what we need as well is furnaces. And the furnaces... I think this is what we need. Yeah, we, we don't need an enormous amount of them. Hmm let's actually have the output down here then we have it like that oh come on uh, the advantage of doing this is that then we have the ore in the right area so to, so to say making it easy to get both the uh, both the iron ore and the coal into that line. Hmm, but how do I do that? I mean, ore is getting along like that. Um, let's do it like that. And then we have going like that and we just need yeah this works we need that and then we have an underground belt there to continue everything oh yeah this works out oh over there please and let's get the power poles in right away there we go Everything is kind of working. We have uh, why didn't it tell me what to create? There we go, and we have these for copper. Oh yeah, um, this is green circuits. This is copper cable. So that should be kind of it, except that we need, oh yeah, we need one more of those. Come on. There we go. And we need some inserters for that. One and two. Do we need, yep, we do need iron plates for this one. Meaning we want that, and we want that, and then we need some uh, some inserters, yeah. So, okay, we only wait for the copper. And the copper, if we lead it down here, I think. Let's do it like this. I think this will work. One of those down to the side. And then we have one of those. Oh, let's get rid of that. No, that won't work. Damn it. Yeah, 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 I know. It's all good that you are uh, 
that you are doing that research. Let's continue with it, I guess. I like that. Yeah, and this should hopefully be it. Uh, let's get rid of all the ore I picked up now. There we go, and we should get these being produced. Oh, I probably turned that the wrong way. No, I didn't. What? What's happening over here? Why? Oh, it have the copper cable. Okay. That one is, or oh, that one is turned around. Okay, okay, fair enough. It's all solved now. That's the most important thing. Oh, and let's limit it to two stacks. I'm happy that I uh, accidentally opened that up. Okay, so we got the uh, all of the inserters as we want them. Well, the production of them at least. Well, when I say all of them, I mean the one we are going to use most of the time. Uh, I know it's not really all of them. There are way more inserters to worry about. Let's see. Now when it's night time, is there any area that we think should be lit up a little bit more? And yes, there is. There is this area. The actual power where we should be able to lit it up as much as we want. That's not lit up properly. There we go. And just for the time, let's add those lights. Those will of course be moved later on. Once we have uh, bigger power poles that we can place in this line, those will be moved. Oh, that's good. You can hover over those to see what is happening. Okay, so we have way more power than we need. Oh yes, didn't I create a bunch of labs? No, I didn't, it looks like. I thought about it, but I apparently didn't create them. Let's go over and get the, uh, get the ion sorted and then get some more fuel. There we go. And I did notice that the, uh, the copper was out of fuel. Oh, that's how you do it, okay. Stone, please refuel that. And please refuel all of the iron for, uh, miners. Let's not worry about the furnaces. We don't have enough fuel for that right now. Oh, that's the wrong way. We might have had enough fuel, but now we do know that it's enough. Okay, can we create more labs? Yes, we can. Let's double the amount of labs we have. And let's just place them in, in a row, the same way we have done. Yeah, what is the next thing we want to do? I guess we want to do the science pack freeze. They take an electric mining drill, an engine unit, and an advanced circuit. And the advanced circuits still take plastic bars, which means that we need to get the oil running. Yeah, okay. I don't know how far we have to go, but a little bit further than, than we did, at least. Oh, that didn't cut the power. I was expecting it to uh, cause problems. Not that I wanted it, but I expected it. OK, 
Okay, and then we have the insertos. I think it's, I think that's right. That's too far. Yeah, this have to be right. And then we need the uh, power poles. One there, one there, one here. Uh, oh yeah, and the belts. Goody, we have it set up. We have doubled our uh, our production, or not our production, but our consumption of science packs. Double the the rate we are researching, basically. Yay! I think that what we should do next is to yeah we do need the science packs, but I think we should see if we can get the trains up and running. That would be really good. Really, really good. Is there any other thing? Well, pipes. We always need pipes and we need underground pipes. We could get that going while we are waiting and we could place both of those in here. So let's do that. We are waiting for the research right now. There we go. And I mean, if I remember it correctly, let's see, iron plates and iron plates and pipes, yeah. It's fairly easy to create those uh, those stuff. Let's just do it like this. Wait, that's wrong. Ah, uh, it's not really. This is wrong, however. Again, not really wrong, but kind of. But we can solve it that way. This one, however, that's really wrong. Uh, because we need this one to be like that. And there we go. Okay, let's see, we need we can't have more than three of those without uh, working over that one. And we don't want to do that. So let's set this up for normal pipes and hope that it's enough with uh, three of them. And we can just do this. And we need, well, actually, no, let's do it this way instead. And then we can have, uh, where do we have it? We have it over there. Yeah, we can have an assembly machine over there. That will work out fine. Like that, like that. We have a chest. Uh, no, that's what I wanted to do. Let's limit it to five stacks. This will create pipes. And we just need this. Oh, and power, of course. Always power. I always forget about power. I don't know why. But then to the left we can have the uh, underground pipes. There we go. Uh, but this will work without that one. Now this isn't good. But can we get it to work? Well, of course we can get it to work. Oh, let's do it this way. Let's just move it one step to the to the right. And yeah, let's do the same basically. What do we have for the... We need iron plates and pipes for that. Okay. So if we cut that one, then we can just place on three more furnaces. We have those ones. Then we have... Uh, 
Yeah, that that kind of works. That, that, that. And we have pipes. And we have underground pipes. And we have output to a chest. Yeah, that's the right. With two stacks in it. And power, uh, power yeah. There we go. I mean, this is not the fastest thing in the world. Definitely not. But it is a factory only for this. And uh, I mean, this is one factory for the pipes. This is one for the underground pipes. And that's basically what we're after right, right here now. Oh, we have loads of uh, iron ore. That's dump it into these uh, furnaces. There we go. Wait, what? Okay, that's being produced. This, oh yeah, this doesn't get any iron until this have filled up. Two pipes, hundred and something pipes. That's good, goody goody. So we have those two things going. Anything else? While we're waiting for the research. Yeah, how is the research going, by the way? Oh, we still have uh, everything filled up. We still have, yeah, that's good. We don't want the problem to be with not having enough resources. We want to have the problem with not having enough labs. Well, we don't want to have any problems, but yeah, I think you get what, I, what I'm trying to say. Can we grab 25 of those? Yes. Good deal. Then we need a few of these. Let's grab half of them. Then we have loads of inserters. What about assembly machines? Oh, electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and for this one we need, yeah, no. Then we have mining, oh yes. For this we need advanced circuits, electric engine units, and electric mining drills. And the mining drills, electronic circuit, and a lot of iron. The, what more did we say? Oh, advanced circuits and engines, advanced circuits, plastic copper and electronic circuits, not too bad, although it's kind of slow. Then we have the engine. We might not be able to create the engine yet. Hmm. I don't think we can even create the engine yet, but I think that takes steel. Oh, but we are, we are building up iron everywhere. That's kind of good, good news. This is going on. This is looking good. Let's grab that. Let's grab one stack from over here. Except those. Good. Then we have some uh, raw materials. Okay. I'm thinking about creating more labs. Oh, we need more uh, copper for that couple we could get. Yeah, let's create 10 more labs and place them on the right side. And let's not worry about additional types of uh, research yet, or research packs. Should we? I don't know if we should... Come on, get that thing out of here. I don't know if we should uh, think about other types of research packs or not. I, uh, the advantage of doing it is that we can have a gap of two. I'm not thinking about more than that, but a gap of two that will solve it for now. I mean, we have more research packs than ever, but it would solve it for now. But if we do that, we don't force ourselves to move things. So maybe we should force ourselves a bit and not be that friendly about 
what we are working with. Yeah, I think that is actually a good idea. Let's not let's not whirl. Let's place it just on the other side. Oh, unfortunately, we still we do have power for the inserters, but we still need uh, we still need power for the uh, labs. So let's plant that down. And I think we can do it a bit better than we did at the other side. There we go. Oh, uh, this one should of course have, have an inserter as well. There we go. Mining productivity. Oh, we do have a few miners. Yeah, and then we should get the oil refinery and chemical plants and all. Oh yeah, talking about that, we probably should get, where do we have the, yeah, we have it down here. We probably should get some stone smelted. Let's go, oh, there we go. Maybe create one more of those. Then place one of those, and this one when it's finished. Oh, let's do that. And go over here and grab all of the coal we have stored. Yeah, I didn't realize that we needed to create another burner mining drill, so let's wait until that is created. And in the meantime, we can place our labs. Okay, come on. Create the stuff now, please. One, two... One more. There we go. I think our setup is for 20 labs. So we should be able to support that. Maybe we need to update the assembly machines. But apart from that, we should be able to support it. Oh, and for some reason, we have a bunch of, uh, bunch of science packs on us. I don't know why. Let's just dump them into uh, one of the labs. And there we go. Yeah, could we, do we have enough assembly machines? No, but we could create a few. Oh, we should have started to replace stuff a little bit earlier. Yeah, let's stop that and stop that. That way we can reuse our assembly machine once doing that and then we need to do it for the red science stuff as well and we of course need more iron so let's go down and grab a bit of that I'm thinking, should I? Yeah, I think I should. Let's do just one of these to. Uh, oh. To smelt stuff into steel as well. That way we get some steel smelting going. Enough to create like our first steel furnace or something like that. Not steel furnace, uh, electric furnace. Steel furnaces I've never used and uh, I don't see any reason to. Okay, let's continue with clearing this out a bit. Because this ore patch, we are going to use it. We are going to need it, definitely. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so trains, railway, that's what we want to do. Okay, so logistics too. I thought we had researched that, but no, we hadn't. Apparently we hadn't, otherwise it would say that we had. But uh, yeah, we have a bit of research to get the railway. And once we've got that, we can start building rails and start really get this automated and uh, expanded and build proper factories. Right now we have just squeezed it together in one small area, but the idea is to uh, be able to have uh, separate factories. We might share stations between the factories, that's allowed, no problems. Like the pipe and the underground pipe, they could share a station to, uh, at least a station to unload the ion, uh, ion ore, I mean. But uh, if we look at loading it onto the train, if we want to do that, then we probably need, they probably need uh, separate stations. Oh yeah, and we do need also need some way of balancing uh, or reloading ore because normally you load ore onto a train, you bring it to your smelters, and then you smelt it and you reload it onto another train to go onto the actual assembly machines or whatever. That is producing what you want. In this case, we don't have that luxury. So we need to balance the ore to oh, oh. to avoid having the uh, having the ore being funneled from each ore deposit to each small factory. This is getting boring. Oh no, I got some iron ore. I didn't mean to. And then I want robots. That will make it so much easier. cut those trees down. Our pick is almost used up now. Okay, let's create another one. Oh. We might have had a backup pick already. Never mind. In that case, we have two now. I mean, the real hard stuff of this is not in the beginning. That is when we are talking about like, uh, I don't know, when we are talking about producing uh, speed module freeze, when we need so much raw resources of every single kind, uh, including oil to create it, that will be that will be the problem. Oh, we want to upgrade this. Uh, okay, good. Day. Let's upgrade this one as well, and then let's create a few more assembly machines. Let's do ten of them. Okay, so we are kind of mining what we can over there. Please start working a bit faster. Yeah, so 
most of everything have filled up now I guess let's have a look over here yep that have filled up this haven't that takes loads of time oh there we go and we want the railway so let's do the oh there we have the engine and that allows the pump as well okay let's do this research great we have that going and oh let's pick up the iron we can always pick up all of the iron and I guess we refuel everything yeah what more oh we want to get rid of this one there we go anything else oh, we have loads of raw wood what are we gonna use the wood oh we can use it as fuel that's actually quite an okay use of it this is full yay goody and we got a few uh, a few more assembly machines really good let's see we were working at the at the research so let's complete the research with assembly machine tools what's this electric engine okay but railway please locomotive good that's still engine units we don't need the electronic engines for that okay all of that seems to be assembly machine twos what about over here everything assembly machine two the oh we have just run out of uh, of red research packs oops uh, that's okay I guess yeah that, that's okay that's kind of okay at least let's create more of these assembly machines and then we have a few assembly machines over here that is assembly machine ones but I think most of them are already assembly machine twos all of these as I can see are assembly machine twos all of these I think we have gotten rid of all of the assembly machine ones now well now at least but we need way more red research now let it be as it is this is fine when this finishes we have about about 10 labs at least working and that is that's enough we don't need everything to be researched with super speed oh but maybe we should think a bit about this uh, railway stuff so what can we do I think over here. Uh, yeah over here no we have ores everywhere I mean this we can't touch and this and this we can't touch oh yeah you can see how much there is that's really good that's really nice I I knew it but I haven't uh, haven't used it before actually where well, we can do stuff no we can't even do that I was thinking about right where we have our, our uh, factory building oh let's do some more automated rail transportation that's wait don't you get you don't get train stops with that first research that's that's strange oh now I know it takes two red ones and one green one and so does this and then we're back to normal okay yep but in the meantime 
I will try to produce a few rails. And see if we can get some blueprints, some rail bl blueprints created. I want those both, uh, both, yeah, horizontal, vertical, and for the uh, diagonals. And I know that these aren't gonna be the normal railways you you are used to. This is gonna be something. Something different. Uh, yeah, let's grab all of the iron we have and all of the steel, of course. And I think let's get some power down here. Do we have enough? Sp yeah, over here we have loads of space. We can test the rail stuff out. So let's get some power down here. And then let's get, I should start using the uh, shortcuts. Then we can start, can get some, uh, some lights as well. Then we can actually see what we are doing for once. Okay, railways or rail tracks. Oh, I need more. I need better power poles to be able to do this. But the idea is that we have several tracks. We have one track. This track is for, I think, transportation. I, I don't know if it's transportation of ore or transportation of goods. I think it's transportation of ore. Then we have this one, which is transportation of goods. Or oh, actually, this is ore to the exchange, and this is to transport ore out in, to the factories and transport goods. And then, oh, that's not good. And if we do this, then we have one more track in the middle. That's my track. That's reserved for me. And then we have this track. And this track. Please do this one as well. Strong button. <laughs> That's why I didn't get it. Oh yeah, so these are for transporting stuff. This is for me, and these are for transporting stuff again. Uh, and the idea is that I have actually the biggest train available, but that train will hold me, and it will hold everything that is needed to build new bases, new mining outposts, new whatever, and it can be reversed. So that's why I want this one. And then we set up signals in a way that allows, that basically stops all the trains when, when I'm approaching, the other two tracks will stop. So they won't disturb anything. I can run wherever I want to go. But I can do that without needing to uh, worry too much about the other trains. That can always be a problem, of course. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I hope. But this wide of a track everywhere. Yeah, that does that needs some serious space. Um Maybe the best way is to start over here. But to be honest, I don't think we are ready for the trains yet, even though I'm researching it. But since it takes that much space, I think we should wait and we should make sure that we can handle the biters first. 
uh, because those might attack at basically any time. Oh, do I have the stuff need? No, I don't have stone bricks. We have started those. I'm thinking about the stuff needed to start getting some oil. 100 stone bricks. Okay, let's create... Actually, we don't even need that. We need pump jacks. We need more steel. Surprise, surprise. That's the next thing we're gonna miss. And that's gonna be even worse than the iron. Okay. So, we want this, but that's a bit away. Module armor, modules, module, oh yeah, we could do that actually. Get, oh, but that requires plastic. Do have the heavy armor. Hmm. I actually think this is the only armor we can use right now. Yeah, modular, power armor, armor 2. That's not good. Uh, okay, what about weapons? Shotgun. We can get the shotgun. But then we have the... Yeah, then we need loads to get the piercing shotgun shells. And combat shotgun. Well, that's far off. Uh, Let's just cancel that and see what we can do with what we got. Or we could at least get the piercing round magazine and possibly the grenade. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that research done. Oh, that's gonna be finished quickly. Yes, yeah, so four iron plates and then And then we have grenade damage. Nope, thank you. Gates, walls, shotgun, mining productivity. Yeah, that's nice and all, but it's not what we need right now. Flammables, what does that lead to? Oh, that leads to other stuff. Circuit network, that is a nice one, but not for now. Oh, we did say, we did say this one get some more power poles yes that's good let's do that let's see I don't want to make make a mistake uh, but I think we had we managed to solve that thing with uh, not getting power from solar panels I think we solved that in our uh, first run need more steel that's what we came to get oh more copper that's good oh 97 iron that's the perfect time to go over there great these are producing and yes we are researching and it is building up again so it was that it was using uh, it was using two uh, red per green I think okay how many do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and we have six now seven eight and we oh, we need one more steel or oh. We need steel to create more, at least. Oh yes, I know that I have been using the pipes from this to create those. Honestly, I think it was a mistake saying that we won't use things from the factories for our personal use. So let's allow that, but let's at the same time limit it a bit. We only want to use it uh, from the factory that is actually creating the end product. Or, well, yes, 
that's true. In this case, we are producing iron and steel, and that factory is creating steel. These are creating iron. That's stone and stone bricks. By the way, let's grab those. So let's do it that way, I think. Oh yeah, and we wanted to check this. Steel plate, copper plate and firearm magazine. And this takes iron plates. Oh, it's, it's relatively... Oh, and it's actually kind of fast to create now. Okay, that's good. It was really slow before. Let's get this down to our hotspot just to see where we are. Thank you. Oh, we can't do that one. Let's do the solar energy one. No, let's do the sulfur processing one. Yeah, we want to uh, get the trees cleared where we have these these uh, oil patches. But actually, nah, no, we don't really want that. Well, we do want it, but not right now. We do need a bunch of these as well to do it, so we... Mm, I'm hesitant. Really, really hesitant. Oh, by the way, the engine... That... Oh, that can be done. But I think that we want to create ammo. ammo. And this is a great area for ammo production. Oh yes, so let's set up ammo production right now, and oh, I think that's the end of the episode. So what did we say? And with the ammo, I mean piercing rounds magazines, nothing else. Steel plate and copper plate, and this one takes iron plates. Yeah, okay. So we need iron, and then we need steel and copper. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, what if we... Huh. What if we do this? Nope. This for iron. And this is for coal. There we go. And then we have iron smelting. Actually, we have quite a lot of iron smelting. Um, six of those. That's good. And we need more of them. So let's do it like that. And we... No. And then we have some belts over here. Yeah. Oh, let's get inserters, of course. So we can create the first round over here. And then we can have smelting and stuff to get the second round over here, I think. I'm just figuring everything out as I go. There's nothing like planning in this. Not at all. But I don't think I fooled anyone that I was planning stuff. So this is the idea. This is for firearm magazines, and this is for piercing round magazines. So we need steel plate and we need copper plate. Uh, that means we need two set of sets of furnaces. 
a bullet stuff, that's good. If we well we can actually do it over here and over here I think nope. Have to have it over there. This doesn't line up the way I want it to. Okay, let's do it the other way then. Let's go this way. Um, what if we want the belt to go like this? Then we have, let's put those over there and let's use our belts. Those should go over there, please. Oh, not like that. It can go like that. Then we have the input to that belt over here. We have the output to the next belt over here. There we go. We have uh, some more furnaces. And we have the input to that belt going here. Oh, this is tight. I think the easiest way. Hmm. I don't know what is the easiest way. Uh, but I do know that we need lamps. Lamps over here, over here, one like over here, one over here, and then create a bunch more. Oh yeah, we should get that up and running as well. Uh, yeah, we can either leave this down, have a splitter, oh we don't have this Space really. Space is our problem right here. What if we move everything one step to the right? Does that help? Uh, there we go. We can move it one step to the right, I think. Yeah, we can. We can do that. But does it help anything? It might actually. Let's do that. Mm, yeah. Let's do it like that. We have that one. Let's get rid of these ones. Uh, we have an underground belt going there. This underground belt couldn't go underground anymore. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Always. It always messes with me. When I rebuild stuff. Okay. So if we do that. Let's just hoof up what we have over here. Good day. And we are placing stuff from over here. Yeah. Okay, good, because then we can get the inserters in like this and get stuff out like this. Of course we need power. And then we can get everything downwards. And then we can get, yeah, this works. Then we have this, 
we have steel smelting over here we just need to connect just need to connect some coal as well there we go insert those that one thank you let's do this one as well okay we have steel smelting going on great i mean the steel smelting won't be able to keep up we have we don't have enough iron smelting for that but we do have steel smelting and then we have copper smelting over here No, no, no. Stop this. We can actually get rid of all of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't have any more space. This is actually one step too far. But that's, that's no problem. I'm thinking about leading it to the right instead. That is hopefully easier. Actually, we can just do it like this. This is wrong, I know that. But if we do it like this, it will get to the, the bottom side and... Yeah, this, there we go. This will work. And we just need to get coal and copper into this line. Uh, and it's that line. Is this okay? No, it's not. There we go. Let's do that. And we have this one. And we have that one. Actually, this one should be going like this. Now we only need all of the inserters everywhere. Oh, and this one. And this one. Okay. Power poles, please. and a chest and i'm thinking of not limiting this at all oh we have loads and loads of ore let's see let's put it over there and we have loads of copper ore as well let's put it over there and over there good yeah. Oh, we need five copper plates for each one of these. We have five piercing rounds magazines. <laughs> Yay! Now well, let's see, can we create... Oh yes, we can create the submachine gun, which is way better than the pistol. Still not good, but way better than the pistol. Good, now we have this... Oh. Uh, but we don't have any lights. We place them and then we remove them again when we had other things to worry about. There we go. Anything that's not lit up now? No, I think it's all good. Oh uh, no, the, the labs aren't properly lit up. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Yeah, it seems to be good, all of it. Yep. I thought uh, the problem would be iron and not copper. Uh. Well, we need the same amount of stuff. Iron and copper, actually. Oh well, 
that's how it is. Let's just oh, this is wrong. Let's fix that. Whoops, we got some copper on the on the coal line. Let's get rid of it. There we go. Yeah. So we have ammo production going. Yeah, the reason we are we do have steel is of course that we started with that so it had been backlogged a little bit laser that would be nice but i'm not gonna use it i'm not gonna use the laser turret at least hmm tool belt yes please let's do that research but uh, Let's do that next time. Thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.